Hi everyone, this is a painting about a rainy day. I used my monsoon palette for this, so let's look at that. Uh, for this painting, I'm using my monsoon palette, which involves uh, titanium white, lemon yellow, yellow ochre, in absence of a brown, a cadmium orange, sap green, and ivory black. So initially, I'm going to do a line drawing and then gradually move towards a tonal drawing. So this is just nothing but uh, slightly, you know, diluted paint and I'm going to start indicating the tonal aspects of the painting, which part becomes darker and which part becomes lighter. So this is just uh, to draw the basic composition and to provide an idea that uh, what I'm going to do about this painting. And if the concept is not clear, then the painting is bound to fail. So, you know, I have to be very careful and probably when I am skipping this stage in any painting that is bound to fail because, uh, you know, this is where the maximum, you know, thinking occurs. So I'm thinking very hard and I actually pre-planned it because the scene is known and the problem was the foreground. So I introduced a road and stuff like that and some puddle. But uh, here I've started uh, introducing some darker areas to indicate which part should be darker and which part should be lighter. Now I've moved on to the painting stage. So this is a time lapse video. So everything will run in a little faster because and this is a very quickly done painting. It uh, was finished in about two to three hours. I think three hours because I had to you know, recharge my cell phone and stuff like that. So about two hours, two and a half uh, thinking involved. But here I've started painting and indicating the shadows and uh, creating a tonal variation. Now all I'm using a fan brush, a modified fan brush rather, to indicate the foliage and which part will receive more light, which part will receive uh, less light. And also, you know, correcting the darks if I'm losing that. I'm using all sorts of methods. I'm using palette knife to indicate flatter areas, whereas uh, indicating them, indicating the other areas with a brush as well as palette knife. But overall tone of this painting is going to be darker because it's a heavy monsoon day. Now I'm using this fan brush because I need to deliver the uh, or reproduce the foliage that I have in front of me very quickly and also create a very random uh, shapes here and there. So that is best done with a modified fl uh, flat brush. And here I'm indicating some lighter areas with a uh, with a palette knife and then covering it up with uh, the gray grayish green paints. You can see that I'm mostly using rounded brushes because they produce a greater amount of abstraction. Now here I am indicating a few more light areas and gradually we'll be blending those with a dry flat brush but not too much i'm going to keep the values but uh, we'll be blending the edges a little but here i am putting down very thick paint this is titanium white pure and we'll be playing with these colors to create uh, the variations of the tones and then we'll blend a little You can see for the flatter marks and uh, the mar areas that are going to have a clearer, crisper detail, I'm using, you know, palette knife in the beginning and then modifying the shapes with the brushes. And during this time, uh, you know, the mo during monsoon time, the weather becomes very cool. So there is no point in using too many bright colors because there is no scope of any bright color showing in the nature. Rather, everything becomes dark. And that's why I'm using, you know, lemon yellow. Lemon yellow 
is something that I treat as a warm white rather than you know using a warmer yellow color because it's whitish in nature and also yellow ochre is the only warm color that I have and also generally I use burnt sienna but in absence of a burnt sienna I'm using a cadmium orange but I can make a brown very easily with uh, mixed with uh, uh, ivory black and the sap green because everything is lush during this time so sap green is a better uh, color to use rather than any other mixed green but there is a scope of creating a lot of different greens uh, if you mix ivory black with the yellow ochre you can mix one type if you mix it with yellow uh, lemon yellow you will get another kind and also sap green is also there so there are quite a variation that can be achieved with my monsoon palette now here I have introduced a lot of things it has become uh, like a constable uh, landscape now I am also indicating the central focal point it's not to the center but uh, somewhere near the tree which is on to the left hand side but I'm doing that and now I'm working on the tree and uh, also trying to maintain the shapes and here I will introduce some lighter patches but those are very dark as well but they will appear lighter in front of the blackness of the tree now there they are so these are the lighter areas and also create a direct variation between the extreme darks and uh, this color and I'm reintroducing some of the darks as well as the lights to create a, you know a very contrasting effect and introducing some of the details and here is a tree that I thought uh, would add to the touch and here I'm uh, indicating the bird holes or the sky holes as commonly they are known to create some sense of reality and here is the final touch to the central focal point area and these are just finishing touches but the painting was uh, done very quickly and it did not take uh, that amount of time but you can see there is a considerable detail in this and there is a sense of reality that has been created even though it was uh, executed very quickly so if you like this video then please click the like button and also subscribe and remember to click the bell icon so that you get notified and also remember to check my website for more paintings so if you have any queries then please let me know in the comment box below so i thank you for your time and take care